So I feel kind of dumb because I was supposed to interrogate him first. I'll know that from now on. If I have to go to the police station and interview a guy like that again, I'll definitely do it because I probably could have got a little more information and he wouldn't have been arrested. I would have probably got more experience from it too. This pain to cool the love you pump through my veins cause I'm burning I'm burning up for you Kind of got left alone there. The golden butterfly. I like how they're old school type lettering too, just like other film noirs, you know? Oh! The fuck's wrong with these people killing women, dude? It's fucking ridiculous. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Fucking Hats people. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Sunset. Not bad. You ran the light on Olympic. You finally call it a temple. God damn, and everyone hits them in the face. Like, I don't know why he did it. It didn't even show anything. Are we going to find another mutilated... 100% nude woman again? Because I don't like editing that much. Ooh, it takes so long. And people are going to be all... Oh, not our car. This is... People are going to be all like, Why did you edit out the nudity? Why do you think? Like, some people are don't understand that nudity kind of isn't allowed on YouTube. Case, not bad for your first time at that. Thanks for <coughs> Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence. Slow and steady, come on! Why are they all women, anyways? Are there any men homicides? Well, this thing's above me, so... Right. See, I knew you were... What? Will you? Fuck, I'm in everything. Yeah, I knew you were Ooh. fast learning, Phelps. Phelps! You're not helping. Yeah, oh my god. My partner isn't the greatest driver in the world. Clearly not. <laughs> if this were real life, don't worry. I wouldn't be sucking this terribly. I'm actually a pretty good driver. I do it as my job, so I kind of have to be. I wonder if this is a game that you can, like, really, uh, really, you know, free roam and do what you can with the now Grand Theft Auto boys, games. boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain! Aren't there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter? So you matter? don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Please tell me she's fully clothed. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of Angeles. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. 
What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Jesus. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. It seems like a lot of these actors in, or a lot of these like characters look like real actors. To me, they do. I was first on scene. So you find her, Gonzalez. Gonzalez again. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree. This way. God damn it. Please let her not be nude, because then I gotta do more blurring. <laughs> well, she's fucking nude. That's just great. Jesus Christ, what's with this killer? She is. God damn it. It's gonna be one big dude, so it's gonna be nude victim after nude victim after nude victim. Stopping angle. Was it reported in the Another press? size eight. Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Could be a copycat killer, because we did kill a guy that or no, we didn't we did arrest the Gonzalez guy. Here's her purse. Got a couple things in here. What's this? Oh, well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Deidre what? Deidre Muller. Parent Teacher Association. He also got some cash. I don't think that's very significant, but the motive was robbery. Why not take the money? <sighs> that's all we got, so. Alright, well, let's look at the body. Holy fuck, she got beat too. Pretty badly. Whoa. Your mark is very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Bruising. She was stomped. From the looks of things. How about her arms? The ring. Look at the ring. What's this mark? Cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. That's what happened last time. It's an M.O. This is like a, either it's a copycat or we didn't get the right guy. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first. But that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Ah, good point. Anything else besides the stomping? No, she was stomped on. Detective. R&I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Just grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Similar MO. The what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. The size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Hmm. Alright, well. Another bruised, battered, beaten nude woman in the forest who appears... There, there appears to be no signs of rape of anything like really like it wasn't for like sexual pleasure or anything like that but she was beaten to shit and 
it, it's just like a mark, you know? She she gets stomped on. That's what happened last time. Her wedding ring was violently removed, just like the first victim. And I don't know, man. It's, it's we got. I think we got the work of a serial killer on our hands. And this guy can say it's a copycat killer. I, I don't think so. I think this we got the wrong guy. If we did, you know, if we if we did get the right guy, he must have been just a, a pawn in this little game here. But we'll find out soon. Sorry for your mailbox, won't be getting mail anytime hey, soon. Hey, come on! Still might be some play in the boyfriend. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. It doesn't work out. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. They're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> oh, come on! So we didn't. We found that out. You're a father, Cole. He's got a wife and kids. This conversation is over. I didn't know that. We we never knew that. Calling all cars. Citizen reports. Officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. Sixth Street and Lindley Place. Sixth Street and Lindley Place. Unit to handle. Code three identified. Oh. At least I didn't hit anybody. Sorry, y'all. I swear to God, I blame it on the war. That's what they always do. It was the war's fault, not mine. I'm just... I'm suffering, suffering from severe... What the hell do you call it? Something syndrome. I know it's a syndrome. It basically is the same thing as shell shock. That's what it is, but I can't remember the proper name for it. It's against the rules to drive like this without a siren. I don't care how I drive. It's I like causing havoc. I've always liked causing havoc. It seems like we're doing a repeat case, like we're going back to a house. Because remember last time, I was supposed to interrogate Numbnuts over here, but I didn't, and then I had the option to go back to his house and get more evidence. So I'll bet something would have happened, and that would have let, let me let me to watch him call it. And this case right now probably would have had more leeway, and, and the guy I arrested probably would have been we able to help us a little this. more. So I gotta really pay attention. I gotta be careful with what selection.